What's up, folks? It's March, and I forgot all about the State of the Office report. I think part of that is because not a whole lot has changed, but you got to do it because once you start these things, it's it's like a it's like a thing. Well, we'll just go around the room. Same old North Face backpack, which is wonderful. Why well, I love us all. I do have a cat in the window here. I didn't order a cat for the window. It just showed up. So, go figure. Everything around here is about the same. I did not get a new guitar in 2018, which is heinous, but I was busy. I did do some mods. Got my little flashlight here because things just fade into the wall around here. And, you know, the cell phone camera sucks. Uh, on my main guitar, this PRS SE, I put in a new volume and tone control because the stock one sucked. And it sounds better now. Hey! What do you want? I'm making a movie. Hey. Hey. Everyone's a critic. I'll pet you. I'll pet you tomorrow. Over here we've got Tonehenge. We've got my uh, uh, Ibanez tube head, which is a very underrated head. Uh, Roland JC40 and a Panama... 2x10. I don't actually plug into this a whole lot anymore. More on that in a minute. Oh, same, same. Oh, look at that. That is an arguably living plant. It will probably not be here next year, so take a good look. Hey! Hey, are you following the flashlight? I'm trying to do a movie. God, cats, man. Oh, this is new this year. I got an IBM ThinkPad X200T from like 14, 15 years ago. And it is glorious. I got it and it booted, which was just amazing. So I threw in an SSD I had laying around and I got a new battery on Amazon, an 8 cell battery for like 30 bucks. And the battery, in, if you're not watching video stuff, battery will go eight, eight and a half hours or so. And these old ThinkPad tablets had a built-in Wacom, uh, uh, built-in Wacom screen with a pen. You can do actual pressure sensitive artwork on the screen like an expensive Wacom uh, screen tablet thing. Right on your screen on these. It's, it's wonderful. I, I got a new soldering iron thinking that maybe my crap soldering iron was making me solder badly. Turns out it wasn't case. It was me. But I do look better with a soldering iron. Oh, got little grabby arms too. Grabby arms. Now, changes here. We got a new mouse. It's a Corsair mouse and a new keyboard. It's a Corsair keyboard. Keyboard's got the pretty RGB LED thing which I've turned on just now for this video and will immediately turn off afterward because it gets old fast. I do regret on this keyboard getting the one with the number pad because it moves the mouse further away but uh, it was on sale so yeah. The big change. This is a 30 something like 32 inch 1440p Acer curved gaming monitor. I've been rocking two monitors for basically ever. And I finally decided I want to go 1440p. Seems like the sweet spot in the size. And 1440p and a 32 inch screen you don't have to worry about you know scaling issues you can get with like a 4k monitor. It works great. I can have two windows side by side and read both perfectly. One for coding and one for a browser being open or, or what have you. It's a great screen. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. I would not go back to two monitors unless I just only happen to have two monitors. And Or if 1080p you really need two monitors. 1440p or more you can get away with one if it's a really big screen. So I've done here. Very happy. Got a new audio interface. It's a cheapo Behringer, but it sounds very good. Got my mixer plugged back in. And what I'm doing for guitar sounds mostly now is this tiny little pedal board. And it's a two... 
hey, I'm making a movie. You know, I, I, I told the wife we shouldn't feed you. I, I think she's just into the flashlight. I don't think she cares about us. Cats, man. All right, behind the cat head is a chorus, and I've got an Earthquaker Dispatch Master for delay and reverb. And the main thing here is the Atomic Amplify Firebox. That is... It has some pedal effects like compressor and gate and and boost overdrive kind of stuff. But what it has that's awesome are the amplifier simulations are extremely good. And it does cabinet impulse, impulse responses, cabinet IRs. And that's a, for me anyway, a relatively new tech and it just makes it sound perfect. It's really the cabinet problem. I, I did amp modeling for a while and kind of gave up on it because it just didn't sound very good. And I still, even with this, I have to plug back into Tonehenge over here every now and again just to feel that air moving. But with this, with cabinet IRs and the Amplify Firebox, I just plug into my studio monitors most of the time here and I'll just drag this downstairs and I have a head rush full range powered speaker that I use down there when I jam with the boy, and it sounds wonderful. Anyway, oh, one other thing. I threw a AMD RX 580 in here when those got crazy cheap right after Christmas. And for a 1440p monitor, if you plan on doing gaming, uh, it's a good idea to upgrade your graphics card. That's a lot of pixels to push. That is the State of the Office 2019. I'll be back next year unless I forget. Bye-bye.